Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is me, Nadia Rajput from Desi TV USA. Let me take you to the special news. The Canadian government admitted relations with India are at an extremely difficult juncture and underlined the need for a strong diplomatic footprint in India. After the Indian government reportedly ordered the expulsion of 41 Canadian diplomats in the next week. The oyster would be a sharp escalation of India's rebuke of following Arwa charge that it was credible allegations that agents linked to the Indian government were involved in the June assassination of a Canadian Sikh leader. The Canadian government refused Tuesday to confirm it had been warned a withdraw two-thirds of Canada's diplomatic corps from India by October 10. But it didn't deny a Financial Times report that the expulsions are imminent. Five people were wounded non-critically in a shooting that interrupted a homecoming week celebration at Morgan State University in Baltimore on Tuesday and prompted an hours-long lockdown of the historically black college. Students sheltered in place for about four hours as police went room to room looking for suspects. Classes were cancelled for Wednesday. The teenage boy who allegedly shot two people dead and wounded five others inside a major shopping mall in the center of Thailand's capital used a mock handgun that had been modified to Fire real bullets, police said Wednesday. The suspect was taken into custody less than an hour after the first gunshots Tuesday afternoon at the Soim Paragon Mall, one of the Bangkok's biggest and most upscale shopping destinations. U.S. President Joe Biden spoke with the leaders of allied countries, the European Union and the NATO military alliance on Tuesday, reiterating America's support for Ukraine and warning that a drop in support could embolden Russia and cause wider conflict. The call included the leaders of Canada, Germany, Italy, Japan, Poland, Romania, Britain and France, as well as the heads of NATO, the European Commission and the European Council, who also discussed Ukraine's economic recovery and food security issues. The White House said, President Biden made clear we cannot under any circumstances allow America's support for Ukraine to be interrupted, White House National Security Spokesperson John Kirby told reporters. The United States have enough committed funding to meet Ukraine's better feed needs for a bit longer, but it needs congressional help to offer this support uninterrupted. He said, pressed on a timeline, Kirby said, the United States, a couple of the months or so of military supplies. That's all for now. Keep watching Desi TV USA. Please like, subscribe, share and comment.